I've got the Treasury on the run and the Chancellor. Oh, is that good? When he's a member of your own government? Mm, of course it's good. You've got to learn to come to heel. <laughs> You've got to learn to cooperate. What do you mean, cooperate? I mean obey my commands. <laughs> That's what cooperate means when you're Prime Minister. Prime Minister, why are these tax cuts in your interest? I know the Treasury hates giving money back, but it's your government too. But it's simple. Cutting taxes by one and a half billion pounds is going to win us masses of votes. But my ministers are more interested in getting money for their own departments than in supporting me. So I'm using my support for Peter Thorne as a little leverage on the Treasury. Your loyal support? Precisely. In order to get their loyal support. And after you get the tax cut, you will withdraw your loyal support from Peter Thorne. Dear, dear Bernard, how can you be so cynical? I shall simply rearrange my priorities. Uh, Sir, Sir Humphrey is waiting to see you outside. Send him in at once. Yes, Prime Minister. Your word is my cooperation. <laughs> Humphrey. Prime Minister. Everything all right? Everything, I'm afraid, Prime Minister, is very far from all right. Yeah, what's the trouble? Your anti-smoking legislation. What about it? Well, notwithstanding the fact that your proposal could conceivably encompass certain concomitant benefits of a marginal peripheral relevance, there is a countervailing consideration of infinitely superior magnitude involving your personal complicity and corroborative malfeasance, with the consequence that the taint and stigma of your former associations and diversions could irredeemably and irretrievably invalidate your position and culminate in public revelations and recriminations of a profoundly embarrassing and ultimately indefensible character. Perhaps I could have a praise of that. There's nicotine on your hands. Me? All the hospitality that we've enjoyed at BTG's expense. Champagne receptions, buffet lunches, the best seats at sporting and cultural events. What's the problem? The tobacco companies may release this embarrassing information to the press. It's not embarrassing. I've had drinks at the Soviet embassy. That doesn't make me a Russian spy. Uh, uh, well, uh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, no. Let them do their work.